Five years of free parking at Midtown Car Park is coming to an end. The Covid pandemic is forcing us to change the way we live our lives. And while one of the positives to come out of the crisis is a renewed appreciation of less polluted air, it will come at a cost. Those using Midtown to get to work could face a £12.60 daily fee for seven hours parking, which could mean £63 for a five-day week. Well, I think it's going to be it's gonna be a bit of a chaos because I rely on this to park my car for work every day. It's from nine, so I don't know... I don't know, I'm going to have to look for parking, go round and round looking for parking like I used to do. I think it's a good idea. If you want to encourage people to leave their cars at home, then free parking is not the way to go about it. Do you think it might encourage people to take the bus? I think that's the whole point of it, so I'm hoping it does, yes. I think it's, it's, not, it's not a good thing, really, that we are getting less services. And I suppose we have to pay for something extra. Uh, and there's only a few... What is there, one or two floors that are available anyway for the public? So I, I, I suppose they, they could get the money elsewhere, maybe by charging the private. Would it, would it stop you from driving here? Um, if it was too expensive, probably. Yeah, but I mean, there, are, there aren't any other options, um, I suppose, around town. There aren't that many options. So when I do use the cards, because I really have to. So it'd be, it'd be nasty not to have to pay for a parking as well, you know? Well, basically, it's a service which the government is offering people, and therefore people should uh, should uh, should should pay for that. I mean, why not? You know, it's it's uh, like, an, like just about any service in, in town. It should be paid for by the users. I think it's understandable. Um, I think there has to be give and take. Things have changed entirely. I do understand those obviously who were saying that it might seem unfair, but I think we all have to stick together and swim in the in the same direction. I'm sort of split with it, with how I feel about it because obviously. We want to do anything we can do to reduce traffic, but then it's really, really handy and it is really the only free place that you can sort of reliably get a space. Otherwise, you know, it's quite difficult to get into town, sort of nip in and quickly get back. Could have done that a long time ago, but it's a great idea, honestly. Do you it's think it will encourage more people to use public transport? Absolutely, trans absolutely, yeah. Among the government's other measures to unlock the rock is the partial closure of Limewall Road. This busy thoroughfare is one of the three main arteries from the north of the rock to the south. And although buses, taxis and public service vehicles will still have access, the move will undoubtedly affect many. And what about closing off Limewall Road partially? Is that going to affect many people, do you think? I don't actually agree with that, you know, because uh, Gibraltar is too small. You know, there's not enough space for cars especially when the, we're having problems at the frontier, queues and all that. So basically it's going to be a hell of a problem for Gibraltar. Will it affect you personally? Uh, it will affect all, all, everybody, actually everybody, you know, because queues here, it's horrible, especially in this type of the year. It will probably mean that I'm going to have to park my, leave my car at home and start walking to work. That's what the government want to encourage yeah. you to do, of course. Yeah, it's just, I live in Roja, so it will be a bit of a walk, but when it's nice. Would be nice. Um, well, that'll be somewhat challenging in the sense that um, obviously Landwall Road connects to other roads and uh, by locking off Landwall Road obviously ways will have to be found of allowing people into and out of the uh, the old town but I'm sure those points have been thought of and uh, and you know um, any initiative to reduce traffic in town is of course uh, uh, to be to be uh, to be welcomed. Um. As a business person myself, I think the line wall will have some more negative effects than Chatham. Chatham, at least they can increase um, their terrace usage to clients. But um, with regards to line wall, I think that's going to be a bit more pro problematic. I think really, I think it would affect me quite a bit because I take my daughter, um, my daughter's autistic and I take her for drives. It's part of her calming down thing. So. I look for like the easiest routes, the less congested. So obviously if one's closed and I'm going to have trouble finding, but that's a personal thing. But I think on the, in the whole picture, reducing traffic is always a bonus. So again, I'm split on how I feel about that. I walk everywhere and I hardly use the bus. So more exercise and less cars in the street and, and what less pollution. And what about closing Limewall Road uh, partially to drivers as well? Would that concern you at all? Not at all. I think it will encourage people to walk even more, which is better for everybody. This key pilot project is set to launch on the 1st of June and will no doubt be a major challenge. Will these new measures encourage car users to leave their vehicles at home or will traffic simply spill over into other routes? The devil, as they say, is in the detail.